Have you ever seen a bike fly past this quickly? These high-powered bikes and cars leave modern Ferraris in their dust, reaching top speeds that smash the 300 mile per hour mark. One particular model was even fitted with a jet engine. Talk about excessive. Make sure your seat belt is buckled because we're about to reach breakneck speeds never before seen on both four wheels and on two. Imagine being able to drive 450 feet in a single second. If you're behind the wheel of the sleek Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus, then that's exactly what you'll be doing. For years, car manufacturers have been trying to break the illustrious 300 mile per hour mark, and Bugatti has done that better than any other. In August 2019, with race car driver Andy Wallace behind the wheel, the Chiron reached a scintillating top speed of 304.77 miles per hour. That's 450 and a half kilometers an hour, and it's also double the takeoff speed of a Boeing 737. In other words, it's freaking fast. That made it the first supercar to break the 300 mile per hour barrier or 482 kilometers an hour. The Chiron costs almost $3 million and it's about as exotic as hypercars get. What does this lofty price tag get you though? A stunning exterior design, obviously. Just take a look at that thing. And blistering performance unlike any other car before it. Andy Wallace's record behind the wheel was all thanks to the standard 1500 horsepower eight cylinder engine. The Chiron has a production run of just about 500 cars, but there are only 30 of those eight cylinder engines made. So it might be tricky to get your hands on one. The rush in one of these bad boys would be unreal. But as we move from four wheels to two wheels, the feeling on board the supercharged Kawasaki Ninja H2R takes adrenaline to a whole new level. This beast of a machine is the fastest production superbike to date, making out at an exhilarating top speed of 249 miles per hour and surpassing the benchmark of 400 kilometers per hour. It boasts a whopping 310 horsepower with a 998 cc DOHC inline four engine. In layman's terms, that's one powerful bike. It makes plenty of sense when you hear that it was actually inspired by MotoGP and F1 racers. Back in 2016, with the help of four-time world super sport champion Kenan Sofuoglu, this bike broke the world record, reaching that milestone top speed in just 26 seconds on the closed-off Osman Ghazi Bridge in Turkey. The bike is not street legal, although the SX version can be purchased for about $19,000 in the United States. Back over to four wheels for a moment, take a look at this piece of automotive art. Ladies and gentlemen, the Devil 16. Most of the time, V6 engines are impressive and V8s are another level. But buckle up, because the Devil is a V16. With that under the hood, the company claims the aptly named 16 will smash its 320 mile per hour target. Since its concept was launched at the Dubai International Motor Show in 2017, the supercar world has been sitting on the edge of their seats. Three different versions of this beast are intended to be released, the 1.6 six million dollar entry level, the 1.8 million dollar 3,000 horsepower version, and the god of them all, the 5,007 horsepower racing car, set to hit the market at over two million bucks. That last model is intended for drag racing and for drag racing alone, and unless you're an expert, we'd recommend staying far away from the wheel of this one. What's most amazing is that this isn't coming from a well-known manufacturer, it's coming from a Dubai startup. Joining us next is none other than the Suzuki Hayabusa, a 248 mile per hour brute of a bike that is one of the fastest two wheelers to come out of Japan. The Hayabusa has long been a poster boy of superbikes across the world for decades now. And rumor has it a next generation model could be coming available in 2022. As for what's currently on the market, it's powered by 197 horsepower and can rocket from zero to 60 in just 2.47 seconds. Believe it or not, but the acceleration matches the 2.5 seconds put up by the Bugatti Chiron. Not too shabby, right? The 586 pound two-wheeler is on the shelves for around 14,799 bucks, not including any custom parts or paint jobs you might wanna add. Thanks to their impressive features, it's not uncommon for these bikes to have been turned into police vehicles. It's happened in both Oklahoma and over in the UK. Good luck trying to beat one of these in a highway pursuit. Who here has heard of Hennessy before? While they might not have the same name value as Ferrari or Lamborghini, they sure know how to make a statement in the industry. Let us introduce you to the Venom F5, a 7.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 monster of a supercar that boasts an exhilarating top speed of 301 miles per hour. Sure, that's a smidge slower than the Bugatti Chiron we saw earlier, but it beats the Bugatti in horsepower, 1600 compared to 1500, and can get from naught to 60 in under two seconds. 
Feel like getting behind the wheel and experiencing the power for yourself? Well, then let's hope there's a spare $1.8 million in your bank account. Plus, they're hard to come by. Hennessy is only building a total of 24 examples, 12 for the American market and 12 for international markets. And on top of that, the owners are going to be hand-picked. We're still waiting on an official release date from Hennessy. But make no mistake, when it does become available, it'll make waves in the industry. We've checked out a few super bikes so far, but none can really compare to the Ack Attack. Uh, the what? Well, the Ack Attack, you've probably never heard of it because it's not a production bike, is completely one of a kind. It doesn't even look like a motorcycle at first glance, but under the hood, it's more impressive than we've ever seen. Built by Top One and from the brain of Chief Engineer Mike Akatif, this bike holds the official Guinness World Record of the fastest land speed record ever recorded. It is unquestionably the fastest bike in history. After setting a record at the Bonneville Salt Flats back in 2010 with a top speed of 370 six miles per hour, they headed down to the larger salt flats of Bolivia, where they beat it, recording an unheard speed of 378 miles per hour. Driven by American Rocky Robinson, the 20 and a half foot machine is elongated in such a way to create a protective shell. Despite Rocky rolling the bike on another attempt and ending up in the hospital, the protective frame did its job. All right, it's about time we featured a Ferrari, don't you think? Folks, take a look at this piece of work, the Ferrari F80 Concept Supercar. Ferrari has promised that this stunning ride will be able to hit a top speed of 310 miles per hour. For the record, that's 11 times faster than Usain Bolt at top speed. For years, Ferrari hadn't really bothered with trying to secure the trophy of having the fastest car until they announced the F80. The hybrid F80 is touted to rock 1,200 horsepower in a frame weighing just under 18 1,800 pounds. That insane power to weight ratio would offer a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 2.2 seconds. Faster than both the Bugatti Chiron and the Suzuki Hayabusa bike. Keep in mind, at this stage, it's still just a concept. There's no official word on the pricing, but expect to shell out a minimum of 2.2 million smackaroonies for the fastest Ferrari yet. If you've been keeping track of the pattern so far, yeah, it's time for another bike. This unmatched piece of machinery can reach, ready for this? 350 miles per hour. That's 560 kilometers an hour. We're talking, of course, about the Dodge Tomahawk. This motorcycle can produce 500 horsepower at 5,600 RPM using a very simple two-speed manual transmission. It was originally introduced by Dodge at the 2003 North American International Auto Show, and they only released a select few models. In fact, only nine were ever produced. And no, they're not street legal. Duh. Dodge actually labeled this bike a rolling sculpture and didn't intend for it to be ridden. Unlike other superbikes, the Tomahawk has four wheels, two front wheels, and two rear wheels. So how much do one of these unique rolling sculptures go for? Yeah, about $555,000. Yikes. Drifting in next is the one and only Lamborghini Aventador, specifically the LP754 SV model. While this beautiful car doesn't quite hit the 300 mile per hour mark, it does boast a lot of awesome other features. First of all, it is the fastest Lamborghini to have ever been made. Overall, it can do a quarter mile in just 10.3 seconds, reaching a top speed of 350 kilometers or 217 miles an hour. Check it out as it sails past this Ferrari 458. Clearly, the exterior of the Aventador is something to show off as well. Well, with a combination of sleekness and aggression. It's a head turner, no doubt. Like the sound of it? In this case, hope you've got a spare $530,000 hidden under your mattress. Kim Kardashian bought one for Kanye, so maybe someone will buy one for us too? Yeah, we can dream. 530k sounds wildly expensive, but to put that in perspective, you could have six of these for the price of the Bugatti. Which would you prefer? Let us know in the comments. Before we see our next bike make an appearance, just take a quick listen. Have you ever heard a bike roar with such venom? It's almost deafening. Now, cast your eyes to the glorious MTT Turbine Superbike Y2K, a demon of a bike capable of reaching 227 miles per hour. Who are MTT? Marine Turbine Technologies, a company that decided powering a bike with a jet engine would be a good idea. This machine is actually recognized as the most powerful production motorcycle on the planet by Guinness, and that's largely thanks to the engine. The Rolls-Royce 250C18 Turbo shaft engine to be more precise, which produces 320 horsepower and 425 pound-feet of torque, aka a mighty large load of power that would leave even the Lamborghini Aventador in its dust. When it was released in the early 2000s, it had a sale price of $175,000. Worth it? You decide. 
But every bike and car we've seen thus far would struggle next to this absolute monster of a unit. With 10,000 horsepower and the capabilities of reaching 300 miles per hour in just under a quarter mile, this drag car would blow all others out of the water. Oh, and it's proven that five foot flames make cars go faster too, right? So which car or bike impressed you the most? Share your thoughts and then check out one of our other videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time here on The Richest.